Hi there guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial by myself, Mr. Furo. So today we're going to be looking at animal lore and the basics of it and how to level it up. I hope you enjoy this video guys, I hope you learn something. Thanks again for watching. Hi there guys, welcome back to a brand new tutorial. So today, oh that's a wee bit loud. So today we're going to be looking at animal lore. Now animal lore to you and me is basically animal husbandry. Now as I said we're going to start with the skills. We're going to start with the skills. So you're going to need at least level 60 hunting or level 30 to unlock it. Level 60 to actually advance it. And hunting first. The next stage is animal lore. The, the skill that I dread next towards herbalism. I hate both of these to be quite honest with you. But you're going to need them if you want to be a tailor or if you want to get your war horses or even if you want to make silks or your leather or padded armors. This is a very useful skill to unlock this tree. So, animal lore. At level 0, maximum quality of animal after successful taming or breeding. This is basically talking about coops. Can breed small animals inside coops. Can clean coops, barns and stables. Now, what this means is when you capture a little hare or a chicken using a snare, when you pick up your snare when it's triggered, you'll get a hare or a, or a chicken. What you do is you build one of these things. This is called a coop. This is, uh, I think it's level 50 construction or level 30 construction. I think it's 50. I think it's 50. Level 50 construction, you'll be able to make one of these. These require 30 boards, um, 10 plant fibre and I think it's 16 nails. But if we look inside, I don't know if this, th yep, they're still alive. So here we go, I've got three chickens in here. I can clean it, which is what I'm going to do right now. This will level up your animal lore, cleaning your chickens. Oh, there's apparently there's nothing else to clean. You can also harvest as well, which means the chickens produce eggs. So when you click harvest, when your harvest amount is at, say for example, one, two, three, four, five, or six out of six, you will harvest and you'll get a set amount of eggs back from that. It won't be six eggs if it's six out of six. It'll probably be about 80, no doubt. Anyway, with that, you'll need to do this until level 30. So if we go down to the skill, level 30 on in, uh, animal lore, you can start to breed animals inside barns. This also means you can also go out and tame animals, small animals, which include sheep, uh, rams, boars and sows. You can tame them. The animals that you cannot tame in this game are considered game or predators. That means moose, deer, wolves and bears are off the list for taming. Although we would all love to tame a bear, ride into battle, you know, you would love to do that. Bit of Vladimir Putin kind of style. Anyway, with the coop, with the hares, you will not be able to harvest anything from these guys. You won't be able to harvest a thing from them. You can only clean them. They are rabbits after all. They don't produce anything. They produce lots of themselves. He he ergo, breeding like rabbits. But after you move up to that, you'll move on to a barn. Now, a barn can hold a few pretty cool things. As you can see, my ram, boar, pig and sheep have died because I forgot to clean them. Animals can die inside the barn and the coop if you don't look after them like a normal pet. You would, for example, clean them. You would obviously feed them, which is why I've got straw in here. They feed on straw. You can also uh, you can also breed horses in this game as well. You'll need level 60 in um, Animal Lore to actually tame a horse. Um, a lot of people think, oh, you can just tame a horse straight away. No, you can't. You need level 60 uh, animal lore just to tame a horse. And it, that way you'll be able to ride around the map as opposed to just walk around or run around. I'll go show you my stable. I hope they've not died. I haven't cleaned them for a while. Ah, uh, they've died. <laughs> Look at this. 103%. Right, let's see how much dung I get out of this. But guys, this is the basics of animal lore. At the start, you're not going to have like all the best things. So the first thing you want to do is build two coops. This is my suggestion. Build two coops, set down 20 snares or 10 snares. Try and get at least four rabbits and at least four chickens. That way 
You can feed them and clean them and they will breed very quickly. When it comes to pigs and, you know, sheep, uh, I suppose, you, dep depending on what you really want, I butcher my boars and my, my pigs because I get pork from them. With that, I can make pork sausages and then I can make four ingredient cooking uh, dishes, which is pretty much under the same damn thing. There we go, farming. There's cooking right there. So if you match procuration or animal lore with cooking, you're going to get four or five ingredient food, which will boost your multiplier, your food multiplier that is, and it'll make life a lot easier. Buildings that you can actually tame or at least clean and harvest animals in, large stables, the coops here, the barns, the small stables. I think there's one other one. I'm not 100% sure. I think these are that's all of the you know, the kind of buildings that you can hold animals in. So the animals that you can actually hold in these are chickens and hares, as we saw, boars and pigs. You can also hold cows, the Acarus bull and Acarus cow. Now, you, I suggest you guys putting them in large stables because they breed very well as well. If you get, a, if you get enough of them and uh, slaughter them, you get four thick hides and a whole lot of beef and bones, which means you're going to get lots of bone glue, lots of meals, and potentially weapons and armor, and anything you need to use to build your crafting stations, for example, thin leather for your bloomery. Now guys, this has been a rather basic tutorial on animal lore. Tell me in the comments below if you enjoyed this, if you've got any other hints or tips in this. I've only went into the pure basics of animal lore. There is a few more things that could be said about this, but I'm leaving it at that. So guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, hit that little like button, it helps me greatly. If you want to subscribe to my channel and ring that little bell, you'll keep up to date with all my latest tutorials. I'm also starting a few series on a, a, a different game, as well as a Life is Feudal series which should be starting soon. Anyway guys, I'm Mr Feudal, thanks for watching.